Hello and welcome to HSVMobile.com. As you can see, here we have a new Toshiba NB200, but it's got Windows 7 on it. So, Windows 7 Ultimate. So, I will now show you how that works on this. So, the startup is very fast. The logo lasts only 3 seconds and just resumes very fast. The loading of the hard drive, which is quite similar to the Vista loading, but everything else is very good. It's very fast and easy to use. So that's a good upgrade. It's a one gig of RAM this netbook but still Windows 7 Ultimate is running very good I had to install it from a USB I bought the CD and transferred it on a USB and loaded it from there so as you can see here's the load screen I'll set the password you can see Windows 7 Ultimate so I'll just type my password but everything else is the same layout except for the background so I will just set it to zoom and it's very fast to start and see now we can just start using it as a regular way my programs are already loading nice and smooth so let me just set it to a zoom Oh, let me zoom in to my PC, my netbook. So, here we have Windows 7. I prefer to keep one icon there, so that's fine. So here, we have gadgets, which are good to tell the CPU meter here and the RAM, what percentage they are being used. When you right click, you have normal options and you have personalization to personalize your computer with themes windows color and etc the other option is gadgets to add those sort of cpu weather gadgets and screen resolution which is very good good option the toolbars here my camera is not set very well that's good so here we have the show desktop the time which is similar to Vista so not much to be doing there they improved they improved this, this. It looks a bit more nicer dinner style the new Wi-Fi meter and there's only two options for batteries this is show more and when you click this it doesn't go this way it goes upwards as the arrows pointing and they show like that so one huge difference they made was the this quick launch which is now called the super bar and here you can access programs very easily so we click on google chrome it loads normally and I'll show you some features so when that's loaded if you zoom out for this one just give me a second so here if you go up in full screens click it to the top click it to the left and it creates a snap if you open another one like that and you snap it to the left snaps so it's good for comparing and looking at two things at once if you want to keep one window and shut all the other windows in the back you just shake the one you want to keep like that and the others will minimize shake it back they come back 
so the taskbar I mean the show desktop button it's very good I showed you how it looks so I just show you the side effects if you put the cursor on top you get the outline of the windows if you actually press it it goes to the desktop very nice and smooth and now I'll go back to zooming in so you can see this and if you have multiple pages open you don't get new tabs of the same thing you just get it in one spot like that and they come up like this and if you put your cursor on top of it you can see a preview a bigger one even though there's a little preview here you can see a big one you click it to actually use that there so that's very nice these three here haven't changed from Vista either not much has changed as well next is this new library icon and this is basically where you can see the new updated icons please ignore this magnifier here it's like you can see new icons where everything is placed so that's good like pictures this is your my documents where it keeps all your downloads and what's on your desktop and your favorite places so that's good and the new start bar is a glowing thing which is very nice and this is a smoother search you can search much faster than Vista so show all programs is being kept the same as Vista and that's it really this has just changed a bit they put the shut down like that there to click this arrow you get the more restart sleep hibernate lock log off and switch users things that is handy so all over windows 7 ultimate is very fast not much difference from the other versions of windows 7 but that's still fine it's just a bit more of an upgrade so if you right click on an icon you can like like this is the internet you can see your favorites recently closed and just options if you want to take it away from this super bar and close it so it is a very neat thing and I'll just show you something Windows 7 will never lag if I start opening up everything it does it nicely without no lag all loaded just like that if that was obviously Windows Vista it would be choking already so that's another update it's just a much more fast version of Vista with just some style changes but of course it's not worth the money 100 pounds or more it's not worth it at all it's not major major differences it's still there but it's still worth it no not worth it it's just for somebody that likes it there and then programs and fast then it's good I'll just show you my build it's Windows 7 Ultimate I got a rating of 2.1 and I don't mind about that because it is only a netbook so this was my review of Windows 7 Ultimate how it looks on a netbook overall I would give it a 8 out of 10 the one point is lacking is the price and the other point is the they've not they've been cheap they've not really upgraded a massive amount like XP from Vista so thank you for watching my review of Windows 7 Ultimate on a netbook this has been hsvmobile.com, thank you.